Welcome to CSA Guru. In this session, we will discuss DSA VTU Model Question Paper 2024 Solution. Question number 8b. Define forest, transform the given forest into a binary tree and traverse using in-order, pre-order and post-order traversal. And this is a 6 mark question. So here first you need to give definition for forest and then two forest they have given and these two forest you need to convert it into a binary tree and then for that binary tree implement three types of traversal that is in order pre-order and post-order traversal first what do you mean by forest so here forest is nothing but it is a set of n elements greater than zero with disjoint trees okay that is the concept of forest is very close to that of a tree because if we remove the root node of any tree in the sense, we will get the forest. If you are removing the root node of any binary tree, that will produce the forest of two trees. For example, consider this is a binary tree, complete binary tree. Okay. So, here this is the one is the root node. Okay. So, here the concept of forest is very close to tree because if we remove the root of tree, we will obtain the forest. Okay. In a binary tree, if you are removing this root node in the sense, we will get two forests. Suppose here, if you are removing this root node, this will be considered as forest 1 and this will be considered as forest 2. That is two disjoint trees you will get it if you are removing this root node. In this binary tree, this root node is the connection between this left subtree and the right subtree. Suppose if you are removing this root node in the sense, this will be one disjoint tree and this will be another disjoint tree. That is nothing but the forest. This is forest 1 and this is forest 2. Okay. Can you able to understand? If you are removing the root node of any binary tree in the sense that will produce the forest of two trees. This is forest 1, this is forest 2. Okay. And how to transform a forest into a binary tree? Suppose if a forest tree is given in the sense that tree you need to convert it into a binary tree. How to obtain in the sense? First obtain the binary representation of the given forest. Okay, whatever the forest tree they have given, convert that forest into a binary tree. That is the first step. Then link all the binary trees together through the sibling field of the root node. That is the first forest tree completely you can consider. And the second forest tree, how you have to connect it in the sense, you have to connect like a sibling field of that root node of forest 1. Okay. Now here, they have given two forests. This is forest 1 and this is forest 2. So, this forest 1 and this forest 2, first step, you should convert it into a binary tree. So, here, binary tree for forest 1. So, how you have to transform this forest into a binary tree in the sense, see here, binary tree in the sense, it will have 0 children, 1 children or at most 2 children, right? Here, if you are considering the root node have 3 children. So, you need to transform this forest into a binary tree first. So, here, how you have to convert it in the sense, first consider the root node of forest 1 as the root node itself and the left child of this root node as it is. Place it as a left child only. Okay. And here if you are considering in the sense, this D, E and F, all these three nodes will be considered as siblings. Right. So, the siblings, how you have to connect it in the sense, it should be connected towards right. That is, it should be connected as the right child of the first left child. Like this you have to connect. All the siblings, you should connect towards right. See here, root node as it is and left to first left child as it is. And the remaining siblings of this level D connect towards right. It will be represented like a right child. Okay. And then I and J is there. So, here I if you are considering in the sense, E will be the root node. Okay. So, here E will be the root node and I is the first left child. So, here consider E as the root node. And the left child as it is, I, as the left child of E only. And here, I and J will be considered as siblings. So, how you have to connect siblings in the sense, with this first left child, 
connect towards right all the siblings. Here only one sibling is there. So connect towards right. So this is the binary representation of forest 1. Next is binary tree representation of forest 2. So how you have to make it in the sense? Same procedure only. Root node will be as it is as the root node. First left child will be as it is as the left child. Okay. And here H is the sibling node. Connect towards right of the first left child. If there are more siblings in the sense, connect towards right. Next, here, these two nodes, if you are considering, here G is the root node and this will be the left child. So, connect like the left child. If there is any sibling in this level, connect towards right. With this K, connect towards right. So, this is the binary tree representation of forest 1 and this is the binary tree representation of forest 2. Okay. Now, the complete binary tree, how you have to make it in the sense. So, this is forest 1, this is forest 2. You need to combine these two. Then only you will get one binary tree. See here, the binary representation of first forest as it is you take it. That is, B is the root node, okay. And D is the left child. And towards its right, E and F is there, okay. And with E, I is the left child and its right child is J, okay. So, as it is, you make it. And what happens to the second forest in the sense? See here, binary tree is nothing but it should have zero children or one children or at most two children. This forest one itself, it is a binary tree, right? And forest two itself, it is a binary tree. When you want to combine these two, this is the root node. This root node should have at most two children, okay? The root node of first forest will be the root node and the left child of first forest will be its left child only. Okay. Now, right child field is absent here. Okay. So, the second forest you can connect like a right child. That is C you connect like this and then its left child is G and its right is H and then its left is K. That's it. Now, this is the complete binary. Procedure is very simple. Here, two forests they have given. First step, you need to convert or transform it into a binary tree first. How we have to transform in the sense? In the given forest, consider the root node as root node only and first left child as left child only. And all its siblings of this left child, siblings of this left child should be connected towards right. See here, we have connected E and F towards right. Okay, this level is over. Next level, if you are considering, here E is the root node, I and J are the, the left and right child. Okay, so consider E is the root node. Root node will be as it is, root node only. And first left child will be the left child of this root node. And its sibling should be connected towards right. Same logic only. For any forest, root node will be its root node. First left child will be its left child. And its sibling should be connected towards right. Okay, and here it is the root node. K is the only one child. So, connected as a left child for G. Okay. Two forests we have obtained. So, these two forests, how we can able to combine in the sense, first forest as it is, you can take it. And the second forest connect towards as a right child. Complete tree, you connect towards the right child. So, this is the binary tree for this two given forest. Okay. Next step. We need to find the traversal for this forest tree. In order traversal, pre order traversal, and post order traversal. All these already we know, right? Here, two forests they have given, right? Two forests will be there. For that forest only, we are going to find the traversal, okay? So, here, F is not empty in the sense, traverse the subtree of the first tree, first forest in in order, then visit the root node, then traverse the remaining tree in in order. What do you mean by in order? Left, root, and then right. That is in order. Similarly, pre-order if you are considering, if F is empty in the sense, return. Otherwise, visit the root node first, then traverse the subtrees of the first tree as per pre-order. Pre-order in the sense, root, left and then right. Okay, then traverse the remaining tree of F in pre-order. Okay, similarly, post-order in the sense, if F is empty in the sense, then return. Otherwise, traverse the subtree of first tree in post-order. Post-order in the sense, left, right and then root. Then traverse the remaining tree in post order and visit the root of the first tree. Meaning is, this is nothing but the first forest tree you have to traverse in in order. Then visit the root node, 
and second forest tree you have to traverse in in order. So, this is the binary tree representation of this given forest. So, this is forest 1 and this is forest 2. We have transformed it into a binary tree representation. Now, we are going to find the three types of traversal for this binary tree. That is in order, pre order and post order traversal. All these three types of traversal already we know. Okay, in order in the sense left node should be visited first, then root node and then the right subtree nodes. Pre order in the sense so root, left, right. Post order left, right and then root node. Okay, so first in order traversal. So, here in order in the sense left root and then right. So, root is i, right is j and here left is i, j, root is e, right is f and here there is no left node, root is d, left, right is i, j, e, k. So, this is the left subtree value of in order traversal and the right subtree if you are considering here left is k, root is g, right is h and here this is the complete left tree left is k g h root is c there is no right node okay and here the in order traversal is left root and then right so left is d i j e k root is b right is k g h c okay next pre order traversal pre order traversal in the sense so root node should be visited first then left and right so root node is i left is absent right is g and here root node is E, left is I, J and right is F. And here root node is D, left is absent, right is E, I, J, F. And the right subtree if you are considering in the sense root is G, left is K and right is H. And here root is C, left is G, K, H, right is absent. So this is the left subtree value of pre-order traversal and this is the right subtree value of pre-order traversal. So, pre order traversal is root node first. Root is B and left is D, E, I, J, F and right is C, G, K, H. So, here this is F, right? This is F. So, this is the pre order traversal. Next, post order traversal, if you are considering in the sense, root node will be visited at last. So, left, right, root. Left is absent, right is J, root is I. And here, left is J, I right is f root is e and here for this node d left is absent okay right is j i f e root is d and here for the right subtree if you are considering here left is k right is h and root is g and for this node left is k h g right is absent and root is c so this is the left subtree value and this is the right subtree value of post order traversal and here the complete post order traversal is left is j i f e d and right is k h g c root is b so this is the post order traversal for this binary tree okay so here we have converted two forest into a binary tree and we have implemented three traversals also okay thank you for watching this video